Hey, 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 I just acquired this uh, uh, kind of new old stock uh, Tug 8 D104 still in the packaging. It must have been wired up on a radio back in the 70s and then put back in the box when the owner, you know, when the craze wore off uh, for the person or something. But uh, it's an amplified, of course. And uh, I think uh, it'll work nicely on this thing temporarily until I can eventually get a tube uh, mic amp for it. Then I can put a non-amplified D104. I've also, I've actually, I've actually, I have more than one of these. This is the second D104 I found still all in the packaging like this. It's pretty much, it was used but not very long. So, uh, this is one, of the, I saw this and it looked like it was one of the really, 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 really old ones too. Let me see if I can get this out of here. Hold on. Oh, jeez. That's what I should stop the, uh, the camera or stop the video and then start it back up again. But then I have to splice them together, which is a pain. Oh yeah, this is one of the old, old ones. Let me get my, I saw my finger get in front there a second. So, uh, oh yeah, this is one of the old, look at that old heavy, that's one, this is one of the early ones. Look at the heavy cord on this. See how it's kind of white, the rubber kind of gets that white powdery stuff on it. You know how you get these things to look like new again? You go to the auto parts store, Rust-Oleum wipes. Not, not, not the really shiny ones. I get like the satin, the ones that not, that like the satin ones, you know, the one that just kind of puts a dry kind of, but it's still shiny. And I just run that up and down the coil cord. It makes it look like brand new again. Plus it's free softens up the leather. I mean, the, uh, the leather, the rubber again. So that's what you do. Let's see. I, I am going to stop the, well, I hate to stop the video just to get this. Maybe if I do it down here on the floor, that way if I can't drop it. Cause it's hard to hold the phone here, you know, to take the video and, you know, just use one other hand to get this, this thing out of the package. Let's see what it looks like. Oh gosh. Yeah, I should be able to do this. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's got a chip on the top of it. It's dirty a little bit. It'll polish up. That'll polish up. I just need to take some Windex to it, but hopefully the head's all still intact. The screws don't ever appear to be messed with, which is a very good sign. So that's good. The screws haven't been touched. You can tell. So that means it's never been opened. So that's the main thing. But just that right there, there's a piece of the label broken off. Other than that, it's in pretty darn good shape. That'll all polish up. I'll get that all shiny again. That'll buff up nicely. And it's got a long part of this cord. And I got I got dozens of these mic jacks, these old big Antonol. I have the, I have the three pins and the four pins, both. Of course, this is the four pin, so I, this is this is long. I can put the plug on it. Because it requires, you know, that other plug, it you clamps down to about here, I think. It's, you know, <laughs> so you have to have enough of the straight part. A lot of the newer ones, they have the, sh the other cheaper cords on them, and the thing's about this long. So once you wire it for a couple radios, the thing keeps getting shorter, and you don't have enough to connect it anymore. This is one of the original ones that's got the long one on it. So, uh, that's nice. I'm just surprised I didn't see the label was like that, but that's okay. This will all shine up like brand new again when I'm done. But uh, as a matter of fact, I probably have pieces. I have pieces. I could replace this part. Well, I, ha I have one that's got a better sticker than that. So I could probably replace that. But the main thing is you get an element that's all intact that hasn't been you know, screwed with. That's the key. So, so I'm going to have a total of three of these unused ones. I mean, used ones that just have been sitting forever that haven't been used since they were first bought. So, uh, that'll work good. Now I have the microphone to temporarily drive this thing. So I just wanted to show that. D104. And of course it has the, uh, let me, you know, I shouldn't have tried to put that on there. I should have turned it upside down, but it has the, it has the amplifier in it. That two transistor amplifier. So that's all I have for now. This is, uh, why does that look blurry? When I look at this from back here, it looks like my camera, my phone's not focusing. That's weird. So that's it for now. This is W5HRO.
Well, it looks like I'm having to splice an extra one on here anyway. I decided to go ahead and take a look at this and this thing, the screws to the bottom cover, I mean, it looked like they had never had a screwdriver put to them. Of course, this mic had to have been used at one point because it has the mic plug on it and stuff, but it's on relay switching. These old mics had the electronic relay switching switch. It's on relay. That means it was on an old radio, maybe tube or early 70s radio, but it had, still had the relays. It's an old style setup. But uh, I did, for the heck of it, go through it. I did clean it up just to get it, you know, I'm going to take some car wax and I'm going to polish and buff out the base, but I took a goo gone, I had to goo gone everything first. I mean, it was, there was a coating of some kind of junk all over this thing. The sticker I went ahead and I removed it since it was already broken off at the corner anyway, and to get all that gunk off of it, I did miss a little spot right there. I see I need to pull a little bit more goo gone. I, I, I didn't rub it hard enough right there. There's a couple, see that? That'll come right off. It's some sticker that's still on there. I didn't get completely off, so I'll finish that. But then I'll, when I get a chance, I'll buff out these. I can make the, these these screw heads shine like crazy. But I took the uh, took the, uh, the the key bar off. This, of course, I took this part off. Took the bottom screws out. And I I shined up this. Got all the gunk off this. What I did was I did goo gone, and then I did Windex over it, and that's how I finished it. I don't have any. I'm out of armor all wipe, so I can't do the cord yet. But. Uh, I just want to show you that I did clean this thing up good enough to where I can actually actually hook it up and use it. And then I'll I'll finish detailing this thing later when I'm all done with this and the radio both. But these old tube radios, these things, these mic inputs required some drive, so that was one of the issues. And plus, you need some kind of a mic gain control, and of course, I'm going to have it on the bottom of the mic, right? So that'll work good. This will provide the drive. And plus, this is a high impedance mic into a high. It's going to be high impedance input when I'm done, but I'll probably, I'll probably do something to make it a little bit lower temporarily, because this is like about a 5k output with the amplifier with the the you know the uh, the two two uh, two transistor circuit. So I'll have to kind of look at the input on this. So, uh, but uh, it sh shouldn't take me too long. But I just want to show you that I did get this thing cleaned up good enough to where I can at least start trying to use it and get this radio going. So that's all for now. This is W5 HRNO.